Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to uh, Crush Heart Cup round nine. Uh, we are both currently X1, so we're both 7 1 records going into uh, this match. Um, so, what we have today is um, I'm back with Pendulums, man. Like, I I've been really enjoying this deck. I think this deck is like really, really good. I think it's super severely underrated. Um, I think a lot of people like uh, don't know how to play. But I think that's why I want to do commentaries like this. I got really good feedback from you guys in the last video. Like, um, so I'm gonna try my best to like continue keeping up the commentary and like the gameplay and the decision making, just so that uh, you and I both learn from this. Um, and I think that uh, you know, like when I watch my re own replays, like there's a lot that I learn myself, and like I think I constantly improve as I uh, do these videos because I get to analyze myself and my my playing, and then also like uh, all of this analysis that I'm doing like introspectively. Uh, putting it up on YouTube allows me to share this out with all of you and so inherently we all grow um, and get and get better as a community as like you know at the player base and so yeah guys I'm really excited to go show you guys uh, this match now uh, so Kasam here is uh, highlighting uh, Eldritch I think he's playing Pier or Pier Stun um, you see like Border and a bunch of other stuff in this main deck whereas uh, I'm playing uh, Endymion Pier Endymion so without further ado guys we'll get right into it uh, here he wins the dice roll uh, he's gonna elect to go first. <clears throat> he didn't open up too like too crazy. He opened up like pretty decent, uh, but he'll have at least like four interruptions, two call by the grave, uh, one DD crow, and then essentially a pop. Uh, so you're gonna see here like he's just gonna essentially uh, set four and then pass, uh, which is a pretty good strategy. Uh, here I'm gonna go first. I I was I knew that he had a pop. I was also really really afraid of a counter trap, so I, I started my best to like and try to play through this board. The first thing I do is I uh, activate Master Serb. I use Master Serb's effect to get Jackal King, and then I'm gonna um, use Jackal King's effect to summon up the Master Serb. The reason why I do this is because I wanted so that if he were to use his Lord Summon, I can then uh, pop. Uh, I can then like protect it by getting four counters on it, and then banish the Lord that he summons. So you see here, I'm going to use Bashless Effect. I'm going to use it to shuffle back to Jackal King and then draw a card. I drew into a Lair, which is decent. And then I'm going to activate this so uh, Master Serb gets four counters. Um, the reason why I did that is because I want uh, Master Cerberus uh, to be protected by getting popped. And then I want to stack counters on Abductor and uh, Reflection. So here, uh, I, I literally had to like blind alert because I had no other darks in my hand. And so this was like my only line to play. I went for a blind alert and I missed, which was like so unfortunate. I went for another one hoping I hit this time and then I miss again. And so I literally was playing with, as you think about it, I was playing with four cards in my hand. And four cards against like one pop is like not enough, which is like so unfortunate. But essentially, I just like uh, missed my alerts. So there's not really much I can do there, and so uh, I have to like essentially now search souls with Abductor. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna use Abductor effect to special summon itself uh, by sending a, um, essentially a Endymion, and then I'm gonna use effect to draw two cards. Uh, I drew into a servant, which is like pretty decent here, and then I have Reflection. So I'm gonna use the effect to summon the um, Reflection, and then I'm gonna use the effect. To essentially bounce the uh, one of the cards to the hand, I'll bounce uh, a Magister back to my hand so I can use it as a pen scale later. Um, and so I bounced red there, and so at that point in time, I just immediately go to battle phase. There's not much else I can do. Like I was really afraid of like solemn judgment, solemn strike, and whatnot. Um, but for some reason, I let that card resolve, which is crazy because I think I could have actually pushed for game there if I knew that I bounced red. But I could have literally just like killed him. But you know, like it's unfortunate how it like turned out, because at this point, like, uh, yeah, I could have, I could have definitely just went Boral Sword and went went for game. Even like I get, but he had Conquistador, so he'll block an attack. <clears throat> so he's gonna, I decide not to attack and deal damage. So I'm just gonna go main phase two when he, because he blocks an attack. I'm just gonna banish this so he doesn't get that resource back. <clears throat> I'm gonna link all three of them into a uh, Celine, um, and then gain counters i'm gonna use the lead effect and he's gonna use call by the grave on my endymion which is like so sad i was like oh my god that's fine i guess he's gonna call by the grave it so like based on what i could do here like he just had everything for it and so i have to get souls here i'm gonna activate both of these scales and i'm gonna pen out the abductor and the uh bachelors so i can essentially make a abyss dweller and then uh stay and keep it keep myself back in the game and like also to prevent all this stuff from floating um Yep, so uh, I automatically go Abyss Dweller on him. 
And he's going to use the effect to pay 800 to search. Uh, which is like totally fine. Uh, he's going to set and then just pass just from setting and like not and not commit to anything else. You know, but then of course he has like the impermanence on my servant. So he top deck imperm, which is actually going to like destroy my line of play. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is at end phase, I'm going to use um, Selene effect. And then he's going to call by the grave uh, my abductor. Which is fine because it gets me uh, spell counters on my cards. So I wasn't really too upset. But then he sets another. You'll find literally right here that uh, I was actually just going to outplay him. So my line of play at this point is to pen out Reflection. And which will bounce Mag Magister to my hand. Which will allow me to activate another spell to get the third spell on Servant. Because at this point in time, most of you are probably wondering. I didn't draw a spell. I drew a dead card like Time Gazer for Christ's sakes. And like how am I going to resolve Servant? Well the game plan here is to like uh, pen summon. And then use a reflection to bounce back the uh, match like I was saying, which will let me activate and then get servant. So I'm gonna literally do that. I'm a pen summon, and because I have time gazer, I prevent servant from getting popped, which uh, I'm pretty sure he has conquistador because he searched it. So by s doing time gazer and reflection, when I try to resolve servant, then there's no way he can pop it just because of time gazer. So here I'm gonna use magister, and I'm gonna use um, Celine. Reflection, target Magister, and target, uh, uh, target his, uh, I target the set, I target the set Imperm. I didn't know it was Imperm, but I wanted to play around it, because I was like, yo, if he has Imperm here, then he's gonna, he's gonna be forced to activate it, and if he doesn't, then I know I can resolve Servant fully 100%, and then just literally kill him. But because he has Impermanence for, uh, that column, I was like, oh my god, come on, man, this guy has everything. Like, he literally had everything for every line of play I had. So, at this point in time, I was like, I had to make Phoenix, so my game plan here was to uh, make Phoenix to dump one, dump the Magister, so I can draw a card. So, but he's going to chain uh, Red and chain Conquistador to essentially uh, pop uh, my Abyss Dweller. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to go Phoenix to draw a card and then dump Magister is because I've, basically I'm going to make another Selene and then just reborn back the Magister so I have an interruption on the opponent's turn. Um, so you'll find out that, uh, yeah, man, I'm just gonna get DD crowed. So I'm gonna go and try attempt to make another Selene. Um, using the, uh, Selene and the Phoenix. I get infinite counters again, and I'm gonna use Selene, Selene effect to bring back, um, uh, essentially bring back the, uh, Magister. But guess what he does? He has, of course, a Quero. Like, he just had everything for everything that I wanted to do. But it's fine. I get Bashless here. Um, and at this point in time, uh, if you look at his graveyard, uh, he's essentially going, if he draws a spell, he can get Lord access and he can like Loki basically just OTK me. But that's fine. He draws a, a Quero, which is like literally perfect. Because he's going to use L Land effect to search Lord. And then he's going to use Lord effect to like essentially send uh, my Selene to the grave. I'm going to chain it, of course, just so I get an extra body on the board to get souls back. But I was going to use uh, Lord effect to send that and then essentially get. Um, didn't trigger L Land. He's going to beat over my monsters. And then he's gonna uh, essentially make uh, Gangadai and then pop my servant, essentially popping my scale so that he can stay in control of the game. Um, and then banish to, uh, the red to set Conquistador. And then at uh, end phase, he's gonna set another way to get more, con essentially get a pop, uh, one pop. But I don't have a scale, so I drew into Desires, which is like pretty decent. Because um, decent Desires only help me get back in the game if I draw two like good cards. Unfortunately, I draw Master Serve and Jackal King, which is like terrible because he has one pop. If that keep that in mind, I activate uh, the Jackal King, and then I'm pretty sure he's gonna essentially just pop it. So I'm like Jackal effect, and he's gonna pop the Jackal, which is like so bad. I'm gonna at this point here. Uh, if you look at my extra deck, I don't really have much, so I'm gonna have to like go <clears throat> put that in defense mode and just pass. Uh, the reason why is because like I was like dead either way. Like he had essentially like everything. So at this point, yeah, top deck inspector board here, which is like interesting choice. Uh, so reason why I held in my hand is exactly for this reason. I knew he was going to Gengar, I popped my reflection. And so I wanted to trigger Chrono in my hand to summon the Serb. I didn't want to use uh, scale Serb and Chrono and then pen out Jackal King because it's just going to get popped. Like doing this means that like he's going to have to get rid of my Cerberus. And that's going to be a lot harder. But then you'll see right here that he has... Uh, like he's gonna make the the uh, the big train and then kill both of my monsters that attack directly for game. So I just scoop there. Uh, I make him go first this time around because I know that uh, I have so many go second cards that just obliterate him. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. 
So you see right here that he drew like pretty well. He drew like Imperm, Black, Ash, Border, and a bunch of the cards. He's gonna go Border, activate that, set um, set Elledge, and then he's probably just gonna set two paths. So he has like a a Border, a uh, Cookie Store, and an Imperm. I top deck Denko, which is like GG. So I'm just gonna normal summon Denko. And then I can basically resolve Servant. And even though he has an Ash because of Border, I just like essentially can't get Ash on my uh, Servant. So that's pretty good. So here then, I'm going to double Cosmic Cyclone his cards. Just so I can resolve Servant. Because my game plan here is to just kill him. Like I'm not trying to like saw off the game. I'm trying to like just 100% kill him. So what I do here is I summon Cerberus. Because I know I can just banish Lord and get like crazy big. Uh, I'm going to activate the... Uh, and Dimian here and I'm gonna blind alert the reason why I don't I can blind alert is because I can get the two counters on Serb so I'll have six and then use uh, magical effect and Dimian effect and schedule blow up his whole board and just kill him so I'm gonna activate this alert and then he's gonna ash it which is like totally fine um, and I was I actually predicted that he had to ash too but uh, the way I played around it was because his own border literally stopped him so I was like yo this guy has he has ash but he probably can't even use it so that's why I don't like border in like Eldritch by the way guys um so essentially at this point now um sorry guys uh so essentially at this point now i'm gonna just gonna use a uh, dimian effect in the scale blow up both his cards and then uh just attack for game he said that i didn't have six counters on the field but i explained to him that like a layer of darkness still resolves and it still activates even if it gets ash because ash negates effects on activation which means that server still gets a counter and so i just kill him there um if you just look at the damage i had 56 uh, plus uh, 26 um, and that's uh, 8200 damage so I uh, just win there so like I said guys I did it it's all under four summons as well so I literally played around like everything I played around Nibiru I played around Ash um, and so I think like you guys have to keep in mind like you know uh, you don't have to do fancy plays and set up 50 negates when you can just kill and like win the game so here I just like straight up kill him um, then we go to game three so in game three uh, he's gonna make me go first which I thought was like insane but that's fine. But I, I decided to go home second. I just didn't expect that for like him. Uh, I drew pretty well. I should have just uh, passed here because I knew I like, can't really do much here. But I I, I have the, the blue boy. I'll get knowledge here. I'll activate knowledge and then um, get secrets. Uh, it's because I want to keep drawing and keep plusing. So that was like my game plan. Uh, here is going to ash the secrets, which is like, okay, that makes sense. So I already baited out one ash. So I was like pretty confident. Uh, now I'm essentially gonna use abductor to remove um, three counters to search another endemian because my game plan here is to essentially play around Nibiru. So the way I do that is I pen summon both um, and big endemian. I'm gonna overlay into absolute vortex. So that's my fourth summon. And then here I'm gonna make cross sheet. So he would have to like literally cross sheet. Uh, he would have to like literally uh, go chain link two and make Nibiru on my cross sheet. If he doesn't, then uh, I'm just gonna summon Vortex and then use Vortex uh, effect to bring back Blue Boy or a cross sheep effect to bring back Blue Boy. Um, and then I can just make Celine for free. And if you see, I have uh, four spells or essentially uh, two spell uh, two scales and then two spells in the grave. So I, here I'm gonna get um, four spells and I'm just gonna use that to bring back uh, Endymion. Uh, but I, I, I chrono first um, and then I'm gonna use that to get back Endymion. Uh, the reason why I do this is because I wanted to play around Spear Mode. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, Selene plus Big Endymion plus ja Vortex is, um, that is three monsters. So I wanted to play around Spear Mode. So what I do is I use Chrono Summon Time Gazer and then use Selene to bring back Endymion. I lick them all off to make another Selene. So I only have two monsters on the field. So I can't get Spear Mode here. So I literally cannot get Spear Mode here. And uh, then I'll use Alert, blind, I'll blind Alert and there i get uh, i banish the souls and i keep jackal in my hand for a follow-up <clears throat> so now at this point um i have the, the the selene i have vortex i have abductor um i can bring back the endymion really easily and then just use uh use the effect to bounce the abductor and then that'll free up my scale for jackal king uh so i can like use jackal king if i need to or use anything else um but yeah, so at this point in time, I pass on two. I felt really confident because I'm like, yo, this guy's probably siding in spear mode and he's probably gonna be so tilted I he can't spear mode me. So that's literally why I went that line of play. Cause it looks really weird to like go chrono and summon a time gazer at the end of your combo. But the reason, like I said before, is just to play around spear mode. But instead, you know what he has? He has Dark Ruler No More. I was so sick because I was like, who the heck sides Dark Ruler No More in Elledge? It makes almost zero sense. Like almost zero sense. 
Um, like, uh, like Dark Ruler No More is just, like, really, really bad to sign Elish because you can't clear the whole board. I think you just got really lucky here that, like, I didn't set up a full Pendulum board. And so, like, um, he had, like, the nuts. So, for example, you can Elland. Then he's just gonna search Lord. Use Lord Effect to, like, just send all my cards. I slowly just, like, pick up a part of my board. And the only reason he's able to do that is because of Dark Ruler. But, like, in any other typical board, um, or, like, against a Rock deck, I just think Dark Ruler is just, like, not good. It's just more correct to play spirit mode but because i didn't anticipate that like there's just no way also like i like didn't side like secret village to play around it and so like at this point in time i'm just gonna pretty much slowly like you guys like catch on that i'm just gonna slowly lose this game uh, just because as you can see like i don't have a lot of resources left and yeah that's pretty much it like i mean he's gonna have two set i know he's gonna banish uh black and get another like pop so i mean i'm basically ha i'm passing on a selene I have a Selene and I'm top decking. So, I mean, here, I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is, I'm gonna attempt to activate Magister. Uh, I've been like, try to like, see if he doesn't negate my scales for some godforsaken reason. I can just like, pen out Big Endymion and like, the Chrono and like, try to play from there. But he's just gonna pop my scale. And um, at this point, um, there's just not much else I can do. I'm just gonna concede here because I already see like, the game is over. Um, just because he can just, uh, like, he has way too much advantage and he actually has game next turn. Uh, as you can see here, it's gonna banish. He's gonna make Pallades. Um And yeah, at this point, I just lose. So yeah, I see the next card I was supposed to draw, and yeah, there's not much else I can do. I think like, um, I mean, I think pretty much there's nothing I could have done. Like game three, I lost the dice roll. Game one, he had like pretty much everything. He top deck Imperm against my servant. Like that's just game. Um, and then as you can see here, like it's hard to say if I got sacked or not, but he. I mean, he just pretty much had it. I, it was still really, really weird, like I said before, that he cited Dark Ruler no more. I just didn't expect that an Elish in a deck that can't clear it. If he was playing, like, the Invoked Elish, I think that would make more sense. But, you know, who knows, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess. Overall, I mean, it was it was a good match. Like, it was a lot of back and forth, at least within Game 1. Uh, game 2 and 3 were just, like, blowouts. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. I, but I did definitely think it was correct for him to, like, go uh, second, even playing Elish. But I, just because, like, there's so many blowout cards, like, going against him, uh, I think what I, I should have done, what I did against Pascal when I played another Elish deck is just pass on empty board. I think that was a mistake I made, is, like, I shouldn't have just committed the board to anything. I should have let him set up and I'd be like, whatever, man, I'm just going like, to kill you anyways. I think that was a lot better because, um, essentially, he was able to just lord me. Um, so I think, like, if I just, like, baited Blue Boy with uh, the Ash and then just pass on there, I would have been okay, but... Uh, I guess you live and you learn for sure. And I guess, like, going forward against Elshek, I think that's something I should just consider and, like, do what I did before. The only reason why I didn't was because, like, I was like, this guy has to see a side deck. And I was thinking, like, the only thing he could have seen was, like, potentially a spear mode. And I said, like I said, I, I was literally playing around spear mode. Um, so, yeah, there, there's uh, not much I can do from there. But, yeah, guys, GG. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.